We all know the auto cutout feature in CapCut is good for replacing backgrounds, but that's exactly what we're not gonna use it for today. Instead, I'm gonna show you two alternative ways to use it. One makes adding text to your videos look a bit more interesting, and the other turns it into a rather powerful color editing tool. These two techniques I'm about to show you would traditionally involve a process called rotoscoping. It's a very painstaking task, which involves essentially cropping out your subject frame by frame by hand. It used to be the only way you could go about things in terms of isolating a subject from a complex background, but today the auto cutout feature does essentially the same thing for you, and all you have to do is click a button. So let's get started with our first little trick. First, I'll show you what I'm trying to achieve here. And this right here is what we want. We want to add text to our video, but we want it to go around our subject between me and the background. Here's how we're gonna do it. I have a blank clip here that's just me and my talking head. We'll start by going to the cutout tab and selecting auto cutout. So it applies auto cutout on this clip. And we want to duplicate this clip. I'm gonna hit Command C and Command V or Control C and Control V if you're on Windows. What I've just done is I've lined the two clips up so they're playing perfectly in sync. And it doesn't look like much right now, but what we want to do now is go to this bottom clip here and deselect our auto cutout. So that's turned off. And what we have is essentially a full background. And on top of this full background, we have the cutout version of the same clip playing in sync. The idea is when we bring in our text, we want the text to be between the background layer and the front cutout layer so it goes behind me as a subject. We'll simply add a simple line of text under the text tab. I'm just gonna bring in default text. I'm gonna make it as long as the clip. And instead of awesome, like I showed in the example, let's go with amazing. And let's make this bigger. And when it comes in, it's gonna be right around here. You can kind of see where the outline of my head's gonna cut the text off. I'm happy with this. And now what we're trying to do is make that text part of the lower background layer. And you can simply do that by holding down the command key or control key on Windows, selecting both the background layer and the text when you see the white box around these, right click, create compound clip. It would then sort of burn that line of text into our background layer. And right now, if I play this clip back, you can see it's working amazingly. Right there, even when my hand comes up, it goes nicely around the text. Now, what if we want to take this a step further? We want the text to animate into the frame because I really want to show off the fact that I've done this whole cutout. Well, not me, CapCut's automatically done it for me. So I'm going to right click and undo my compound clip so I can edit any animations on my text. And I want that line of text to kind of fly into the frame. I'll go to the animation tab and I'm gonna use this pop up effect. I'll select that so the text would fling itself into frame. Now it's a pretty quick transition, so I'm going to increase the duration to about two seconds. Let's have a look at that. We'll do what we did again. I'll hold down the command key. So I've selected amazing. And while holding down command, select my background layer, right click, create compound clip. That looks okay, but if you notice, in the first few frames, it kind of digs through the table and the lenses I have in front of it. What if I want it to show up as if it's coming up from behind the table as well? I don't want it to sort of break the illusion by having bits of it reveal itself prematurely ahead of time. To clean this up a little, I'm going to duplicate my top layer again, so Command-C, Command-V, and I'll once again turn off the auto cutout. I'll confirm that, and you can see it's kind of obscured everything because I've just basically put a clean version of this shot on top, covering everything else underneath. What we want to do now is go to the Mask tab under Video, select Mask, and choose the split option. Now what we want to do is reach over here and hit this icon. It's the reverse mask icon. It basically inverts the mask. And what I can do now 
is pull this to right around where I want my text to begin entering my frame. So let's say right around here, and I'll pull this icon up a little that feathers out the edge. So it kind of makes the whole thing look a bit cleaner. And essentially what I've done is if I turn off my background and middle layers, I've put this bit of clean video on top covering all this that's happening underneath. So with this top layer, it just cleans up the bottom edge of my frame. And with that in, if I play back the whole effect, it's exactly how I wanted it to be. So that is how you can very quickly and easily animate a line of text to come up between you and your background with rather little effort, I would say, in CapCut. Now here's the second trick I wanted to show you. This clip here was filmed outside. And what I don't like about it is my face is a bit dark relative to the background. Actually, I'd say my face is properly exposed, but the background is slightly overexposed. What I'm trying to do here is reduce the brightness of just the background, but keep my face the same. We'll select the clip and go to the Cutout tab and apply our favorite effect, Auto Cutout. Now, once again, we're going to duplicate this clip. So I'll just copy that and turn off Auto Cutout on the lower clip. So again, I have a cutout of me against the background. And now this trick is almost practically done. It's extremely simple because whatever adjustments I make to this background layer, it's going to not affect everything that was included in the cutout because that's sitting on a separate layer on top of this layer. So let me show you by simply selecting, making sure I have the background layer selected, going to adjustments, and I'm simply going to scroll down a bit and reduce the brightness of my background. Now for this effect, subtlety is key because if you take things too far, and if I play this back, the illusion breaks. It's very obvious that something's been cut out around my hair, these edges here, but I don't need it to be this drastic. If I reduce the brightness, say by about 15, let's set it to minus 15, and play it back, you can't really see the edges of the cutout. Before I've made my adjustments, you can see the sky is on the brink of getting blown out. You can't really see the details in the clouds that well, but with the adjustments on, the sky looks bluer, the clouds are more defined, and the best part about it is, it doesn't affect my face. Because if I were to apply this adjustment to the overall image, my face would look rather dark. So with this, I can play this entire clip back and only what's around me gets darkened by this adjustment, all thanks to auto cutout. Now I should say to use this technique carefully because your mileage may vary depending on the clip. From my experience, it works better with clips with very little motion blur. In this case, I was vlogging outdoors in the sun with a very fast shutter speed. But if say you're waving your hands around and there's a lot of this motion blur going on, the edges of the adjustments tend to show themselves a bit more. So do take that into account when using this technique. Again, subtlety is key. If you push your adjustments too far, it's still going to look unnatural. So there we have it. Two slightly more resourceful ways to use auto cutout. Not very difficult to pull off, yet adds quite some production value to your videos. What's awesome about Auto Cutout is the fact that it's also available on the web and mobile versions of CapCut, and you could certainly adapt these techniques for your on-the-go content as well. I hope you found this video helpful. That's all I got for you today, and I'll be seeing you around.